Hello and welcome to the channel. The Pharmacy Talks. Today in this video we are going to talk about the first and only novel small interfering RNA therapy to treat hypercholesterolemia, which is inkelisiron. We will discuss about what is inkelisiron, what is its mode of action and what are the side effects associated with it. So let's begin. Inkelisiron is a lipid lowering small interfering RNA therapy for the treatment of hypercholesterolemia which is administered by a subcutaneous route. Inculus iron directs the RNA-induced silencing complex to cleave target messenger RNA to prevent the production of proprotein convertase subtilizing kexin type 9 protein or PCSK9. Protein convertase subtilizing kexin type 9 protein or PCSK9 is responsible for the degradation of LDL receptors. Thus Inculus iron inhibits the translation of messenger RNA into PCKS9 protein. This leads to increase in LDL receptors on hepatocyte surface which increases the uptake of freely moving LDL from the blood circulation by these receptors. Thus Inculus iron reduces the plasma LDL level. Now let's discuss this mechanism into more details. Inculus iron contains two strands, one is passenger strand and other one is guide strand. On passenger strand it is conjugated with an acetyl galactosamin. Now when inculus iron is administered into body, it binds with azelaglycoprotein receptors or ASGPA via triantenarian acetylgalactosamin. These ASGPA are specifically present on hepatocytes surface only. This specific binding facilitates the uptake of inculus iron inside the hepatocytes. This conjugation gets separated inside endosome from where an acetyl galactosamin goes to lysosome and due to the acidic pH of lysosome it is degraded. As pre-cycle back to hepatocyte surface from the endosome. From the endosome, inculus iron is released into cytoplasm where it gets incorporated into RNA-induced silencing complex. Argonaut 2, which is a component of RNA-induced silencing complex, cleaves the passenger strand from its complex. The passenger strand is getting degraded exonuclesis. The guide strand now directs the RNA-induced silencing complex towards the target messenger RNA. And it forms a complementary base pairing between guide strand, messenger RNA and RNA-induced silencing complex. Argonaut 2 now cleaves their messenger RNA from the complex and the messenger RNA is then degraded exonuclesis. This guide strand which is incorporated into RNA-induced silencing complex will keep on directing RNA-induced silencing complex to cleave target messenger RNA and this will continue till the lifespan of hepatocyte. Thus Inculus iron prevents the production of PCSK9 protein and increases the level of LDL receptors on the hepatocyte surface. Thus it increases the uptake of freely moving LDL from circulation and decreases the plasma LDL level. So this was the mode of action of inculus iron. Inculus iron is highly effective as it reduces approximately 50% LDL from plasma. Now talk about the side effects of inculus iron. Inculus iron has no off-target side effects. The only possible events could be injection site reaction, injection site pain, erythema etc. So this was all for today. Please like and share this video. Subscribe the Pharmacy Talks for more such informative content. Lastly please ask your queries in the comments. Thanks.